I'm beginning to see how you won so many world titles because you had to change that discomfort moment over really quickly. You couldn't sit in it for three days. No, of course not. I only had 30 minutes. Or one it, second, next or, wave. Or, yeah, that moment. But I was a victim in the first seven years. So it was everyone else's fault. Everything outside of me was determining my discomfort. And I wasn't owning the fact that I was the common denominator to my discomfort. So when it came to switching that mindset, first I had to realise, okay, the way I'm thinking is determining the feeling that's associated with it. Am I willing to sit in that feeling? We know emotions generally last about 90 seconds. What keeps them going? What's going on in our head? Yeah. So I feel a little bit of anxiety and instead of going, oh, look, I'm having some anxiety, that's interesting, and get curious about it, we go, oh, my goodness, why am I anxious? Oh, my goodness, sitting on a surfboard, Mm. you haven't got the time for 200 of those. It's just, oh, look, here's some anxiety, bang, you've got to move on because something's going to happen. Now, you can do that and, again, if we go back to the brain, create neural pathways that are then around that constant heightened sense of stress and anxiety or we learn from it and we go, that's interesting, I did that last time. I got through that. Okay, Mm. let me look at the times I've been successful before and what can I learn from that and lay down the pathways that says, this is me when I was awesome. This is me when I nailed it. This is me when I felt energized. The more we do that, the easier it then becomes. 